Welcome back to Anthony's Wig Spot Forever. So I have a definitely a different type of video for you today. Um, I wouldn't, this is definitely not a wig review. Uh, this isn't going to be uh, very fast paced. So if you're not into long videos, definitely click off. But what we're going to do today is I recently did a Wig Studio One Clarence wig haul. I got uh, four styles on Wig Studio One Clarence. They recently ran an additional 15% off their Clarence items over at wigstudio1.com. So I took advantage of that. I saw that email pop up on my phone and I clicked on it immediately and I started browsing through their Clarence and I picked up some great deals. So if you're interested in seeing this type of video, let me know down in the comments below and stay tuned and I will get to show you each individual style that I purchased on Clarence. Keep in mind, all these wigs, obviously I purchased with my own funds and all the links for, uh, if you're interested in one of these styles and you wanna purchase one, you'll have to get one at full price. They're no longer available on Clarence as of course I have them right here. So uh, you can either check Clarence very often over at Wig Studio One and you may catch one of these on Clarence again, or I will just leave the, the link to the listing on the Wig Studio One website where you can go purchase one in a color that you might like better, or if you like the color I show, go to wigstudioone.com through the links down in the description box and purchase one for yourself. Stay tuned. So first up, the first style I have is something I have wanted to try for the longest time. This is a style by John Renault, um, very popular, popular style. Um, this is the Natalie wig in 12 FS8 Shaded Praline. Um, I love Shaded Praline, but I have never tried the John Renault um, Oso Light Collection. This is part of the Oso Light Collection by them. So this is a basic cap wig. Um, Full disclosure, I have tried this on and I did style it with wig wax and I wore it out. I could not help myself. I was trying so hard to save it for um, doing this video, but I just couldn't um, do it. So at least three of the styles I have have been tried on um, and at least worn around the house for short periods of time. This is the only one I actually wore out of the house uh, a couple of weeks ago. So I've had these for a little while. The last one that I ordered finally showed up yesterday. So let's go ahead and try Natalie on in 12 FS8. This is kind of exciting. I, like I said, this was a style that I'd wanted to try for the longest time. So I'm just gonna show the caps of all these wigs and try them on and do a 360. So of course, in the Oso Light collection, it's just a basic cap, no lace front, no monofilament top. You know, just easy, easy throw and go. So we got open wefted sides, open wefted back, extended nape, Velcro adjusters. Like I said, no monofilament features. Um, we do have open ear tabs uh, with a good piece of metal in that so it keeps it flush against the temples of your head. Let's go ahead and try this on. And in case you haven't never seen it, um, I'll try and get, give you a good view of that 12 FS8 color, which I fell in love with this. Um, on Kristen by John Renault. Now, Kristen is my favorite bob by John Renault. That's a whole nother uh, video, but um, I fell in love with this color by trying, um, trying that color on that style that I already knew I liked. And this color is just, it's beautiful. If you like um, a rooted blonde, you'll like this. And I'm gonna review all these too. So you'll start seeing some of these pop up on my channel very soon. So Natalie is an asymmetrical style. She's got a lot of permatees. If you're not a permatees lover, you will not like this wig. Definitely has permatees. Lot of volume. I love volume. Pop permatees and me make good friends. Oh, I love this wig. This is so pretty. I love the way they do the highlighting on um, Natalie with the 12 FSA. Just look at all that highlighting. Some of it's even almost stark white through there. It's just so beautiful. So I kind of just pump it up on the side here. This is kind of how I wore it. Of course, I had it a lot higher. I sprayed, um, 
uh, Tressler, uh, Tress Tech Tressler wig wax in this, and I, I really had some volume. I'll post a picture up on the side of me wearing it the other day. I love this wig. Let me give you a complete 360. What I like about this too is this really stays uh, hugged to your nape area. This doesn't move. I can turn my head, move it up and down. It doesn't move. It stays right there, which I really appreciate. Really well done. All right, let's move on to the next style. Okay, so next up is another color, another 12FS8 by John Renault, and this is Ruby. And I've had Ruby in several different colors. I think I've had it in 14, 26, I think it's S10, I'm not sure. I'll post up here to make sure I get that right, um, which is Shaded Pralines and Cream. I actually have it in 24B22. I actually reviewed this wig on my previous channel, um, but I hate the review, so I'm gonna re-review it in this Shaded Praline here, and that should be going up on the channel soon. So again, this is Ruby in 12FS8 Shaded Praline. Go ahead and try this one on. This so this one is a lace front machine made cap. So you have a beautiful hairline with this beautiful lace front here that actually extends back into the ear tab slightly on both sides, which I really like. So then you have a closed top here, open crown area, open, open wefted sides, open wefted back, extended nape, Velcro adjusters, Soft line velvet ear tabs with a great piece of metal in that that's definitely gonna stay flush against the temples of your head. And this cap actually has quite a bit of stretch in it. So this fits, I would say, definitely somebody with an average large circumference. Um, sometimes I have to cut out the adjusters on John Renault, but all the Ruby styles that I've had from memory fit me pretty well. Yeah, this cap is, is very large. I don't even, I don't even think I adjusted those ear tabs at all. So on Ruby, like I said, you have that lace front that's ugh, done so super well. Beautiful. And of course this one offers up that volume that I like because it's the rest of it is a machine made cap. So I haven't put any products in this one. I just tried this one on around the house. I really even, I haven't even sprayed dry shampoo in this. I don't even think it needs it. But this is, Ruby is a favorite of mine. I just love in the summer taking this up and off the face and pumping a bunch of volume in it. And I, I really just love this, this wig. You get a lot of volume out of this. It has really good layering on it. Such a pretty style. Ruby is definitely one of my favorites. I fell in love with this a um, long time ago. I actually believe this is the second Ruby that I've got on Clarence. I got Ruby, my original Ruby in the 1426 S10, which is the shade of pralines and cream. I actually got that on Clarence a long time ago. I don't even remember from what website. Uh, it was a long time ago, probably 2016 or so, somewhere in that area. I don't even know if the style was out then. It was a long time ago. But this is my second one that I've purchased on Clarence. And it's not because it's an expensive wig. It's just, it's out of convenience, I guess. So let me give you a complete 360. Another shortcut that stays nice and close to the neck. This doesn't move no matter what I do. I really like that about Ruby. It's just a shake and go style. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so up next is um, Aesthetica's Jet. Now, if anybody, I have not reviewed Jet. I don't know why. I never got around to reviewing this on my previous channel. Um, I've had Jet, uh, I have three Jets. I have one in Silver Sun RT8. Um, I have one in the Smoky Rose color, which is a really pretty pink. And I've wanted to try Jet in Sunlit Blonde for the longest time. It's always out of stock, brand new. So when I saw this on Wig Studio One Clarence and it was an extra 15% off, I quickly put that on my cart and ordered it. So we got Jet and Sunlit Blonde. I love Jet. I've only tried this on. I haven't done anything to this. This is another 
um, lace front, machine made cap, but you got a very deep lace front on Jet. You got all that parting option right there. It's done so beautifully. Close your tabs. Now, I think this material on Jet, and I don't know if anybody else knows that, let me know down in the comments below if you experience the same thing. I just think this ear tab on Jet is, it could be softer. I just always found this to be really rough on the temples. Um, I don't know why, it's just not the softest material. Everything else about it fits great, but this is just so rough, and there's a great piece of metal in it though. It does stay flush against the temples of your head, but it's just a, Kind of a scratchy material, just never really been a fan of that. Um, we have open wefted sides, open wefted back. There is an open extended nape and it has the hook adjusters. I'm not always the biggest fan of these. However, I do think that Aesthetica has answered a lot of our prayers and have made these so they don't always pop out of their little spots that they, you put them in. So they do stay better than the um, previous Aesthetica wigs that I've had. Because before I would just cut them out, they drove me nuts. And this cap, if you don't know much about Aesthetica, Aesthetica is, um, has that patented uh, pure stretch cap, and it, this just fits so well, especially for an average large circumference. Oh gosh, I love this style. Jet, I love getting Jet up and up and off my face. Now, the only thing about Jet that I've always had issues with is I always have to use It Stays on the lace front because it kind of rolls on me. It was like this on my Silver Sun Rooted and it's like this on my Smoky Rose one. I have to just use a little bit of It Stays on the lace just to tack it down and I have to pull one side to make sure it's flush. But... That's really the only thing, and that happens to me with a lot of Aesthetica wigs. It's the only brand that does that, but I don't see a reason for me not wearing the brand just because I have to do that extra step. This style is one of my favorites um, of all time. I, I cannot live without this uh, Jet style in my, my collection whatsoever, and it's always in my wig rotation. I'm also going to do a video about um, what's in my wig rotation. So that's another thing to stay tuned for and be excited about. But Jet is just a beautiful, beautiful pixie cut. I love this style. I won't ever not, as long as they offer this, I will keep repurchasing this again and again. I love this style so much. Ugh. I love to get Jet really high and uh, crazy and edgy with products. I just love this wig so much. It's got these great layers in it. It's another a sort of asymmetrical cut. It's really, really pretty. And this is so light, cool, and comfortable in the summertime. You cannot go wrong. If you want a shortcut, check out Jet. It's literally, it's so pretty. And this is again in that silver, not silver sun, <laughs> sunlit blonde um, that I've really grown to love. I tried this color on um, a wig that Mimo Wig sent me. Um, I haven't reviewed that yet. I will get to that soon. Um, Jameson, which I love Jameson, and I tried that in Sunlit Blonde in another color, and um, I'm, I just fell in love with this color. I had to have it on Jet. So let me give you a complete 360. Another one that really hugs the back of your nape area. This does not move at all. This is such a comfortable cap to wear. So easy. So I get this question sometimes and I've seen it a lot about Jet is um, it comes flat out of the box. That is definitely true. I really don't think that you can wear Jet naturally looking without some kind of product in it to sort of get, separate those um, fibers from the cap. So if you get Jet and you're intimidated by it because it's really flat looking, um, don't do any of this if you're not gonna keep it. If you really just don't like the style itself, definitely don't keep it and uh, return it if you're able to um, and you're, you haven't done anything to it. But if, you're, if you think you might like it and you might wanna try, try something with it, um, Definitely try some products or even just some plain water. Spray it in and start working with those layers on the top and work in a style. This has such a beautiful lace front. I don't know why, 
people uh, are so freaked out that it's so flat. It's a really natural looking wig, I think. It's one of my absolute favorites, like I said. Let's move on to the last wig that I got on my Clarence haul. Okay, so the last wig that I got, this is gonna be an unboxing. I have not touched this one yet. I really wanted to show exactly how one of these wigs comes from the Wig Studio One headquarters where they ship out all of their Clarence items. So this one is by Gabor. This is Timeless Beauty in Sunkissed Beige, not the rooted version. I've always wanted to try um, the unrooted version of Sunkissed Beige. I've only ever tried Sunkissed Beige SS, which is the soft shades uh, Sunkissed Beige, and I've never tried the unrooted one. So this is kind of exciting. So I'm gonna take the top off of this. And just show you how they package it. So they give you this little pamphlet inside, which I'm going to go through just briefly so you can get an idea. They send you this thing with their logo from Wig Studio One. And I'm just going to read what they check because they check these with a fine tooth comb. So they check that the tags are on them. They check that the packaging for the item is intact. Uh, they check that there's um, no product is on the wigs. Um, they check to make sure that the, the style itself has enough coverage from the fiber that's on there. So if somebody pulled fiber off, they'll know. Um, they check to make sure that the fibers are soft, clean, and new. Um, they make sure that the, like if it has a crisscross part, they make sure that that's not been taken out, combed, or brushed. Um, they check to make sure that the Velcro adjusters or hook type adjusters or pull type adjusters haven't been tampered with. Um, they check basically the entire area. They check all the seams to make sure everything's sewed together correctly. They check a lot of stuff. I'm not going to go through everything they check. One thing I will mention is they do have on here that they, if it has a lace front, they make sure that they check that out to make sure that it's in decent condition before uh, shipping it out or even putting it up on their website, I assume. So these get checked. Every single one gets checked and inspected by somebody at Wig Studio One headquarters before you even see it on their website. And then they, if it passes their QC, they put it up on their website and you're able to purchase it and it gets shipped to you. So I did want to bring that up. Now they package it really, really well. It's like a brand new wig. Oh, that color. So this one has the hair net on it. Oh, that sunkiss beige color is so beautiful. So it's got the hair net. It has some tissue paper in there. Could take that off. Now, I've never tried this style either, so this is a new color and style for me. And again, this is Timeless Beauty. Ooh, look at that color, wow. So this has a uh, full lace front that extends back into the ear tabs here and a left side monofilament part, closed crown area, open uh, back sides, the ear tabs have a soft velvet um, lined material on them with a great piece of metal inside them. Extended nape with Velcro adjusters. I'm gonna remove these tags. So I removed the tags. This is so pretty. This is like brand new. I don't think anybody ever wore this. It still has the crisscross part in it. Beautiful. So I'm gonna give it a couple of shakes. It definitely needs dry shampoo because it's that very platinum blonde beige color. Um, I don't have any up here in the studio at the moment. It's back downstairs. So I'm just going to shake it and try it on and do a 360. You will see a review of this going up soon. I'm going to put her on. I can't. This is the one I'm so excited about. I have to just put this on. Woohoo! This is pretty. Oh, wow. So it's got a crisscross part. I'm going to take that out. Really just want to take that out of there. Okay, I'm just putting her back on. I tried to get that crisscross part out. It's going to, it's, it's a stubborn one. It's going to need a little bit of um, water, 
But I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, ooh, I don't even have it on right. There we go. Um, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I already love this. This is a really, really pretty style. Very low density, not any permatees really to speak of at all. I am actually really happy with this. I'm happy that I tried this um, Sunkiss Beige color without the root. Um, it's really, really pretty. Woo! I like it. This is definitely going to be one that I wear during the winter months. It's getting warmer here now, so I'm going to be probably storing this one. It's got a little box here. They come like that sometimes. It's nothing bad. I'll give you 360. Great movement. So I will tell you that this Timeless Beauty one fits uh, a lot more like average, um, petite average almost. This cap is quite tight on me. I've never um, experienced that with one of the Gabora Legacy styles. Um, so, but this cap is pretty tight. I may have to cut out those adjusters out of there. I'm not quite sure, but I will definitely, um, when I do the review, I will let you know any alterations that I've done with this. But this is a really, really pretty style. That hairline is gorgeous. I really like this a lot. It needs a little bit of work um, and it may not be for me. Um, I got it for reviewing purposes and at the deal that I got it at, uh, I, you can't beat that. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one yet. Um, I will be sure to let you know what I think. I'm gonna give it the attention that it needs, the Anthony's touch I like to call it, and I will let you know how that all goes when I do the review. But this is a really beautiful style. If you like Bob styles and you're really into that platinum color, you, you would check this one out. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of content on my channel. And I will see you next time on Anthony's Wig Spot Forever. Mm -hmm.